Hey, my water signs. Welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully, you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, Water Signs. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is for you for the week of almost say September. September could be significant, but for the week of August the 21st through the 26th, give or take a couple of days. Um, very general messages, water signs. So please take what's for you and leave what is not for the next person. Uh, water signs, I really don't know. A lot of times you guys have me stunted when I'm doing your reading. Um, cause it's kind of like, I don't know how to, uh, how to feel or express exactly what I'm feeling for you guys. And I'm getting that energy again, uh, today or for this week for the, for your reading. Um, but the songs that you got was They Hate Our Love by Big Sean featuring Queen Nyjah and uh come through by chris brown featuring i cannot think of the female artist right now um and the only thing i can say is water signs it, it feels like something or someone may be trying to interfere with your relationship or connection with someone else okay or something else um and that's honestly the best way that i can put it you may be um wanting to kind of sort of keep things to yourself or certain something or someone to yourself or secrecy just out of protection of whatever this is or whoever this is that you you deem valuable um to you but that's the best way i can put it maybe those songs resonate for you maybe you can um take a listen and i'm pretty sure all of you guys will get different messages from it um but yeah I just saw the four of wands and I see the moon card. So there could be some sort of secret um, connection or relationship or contract or something that's in the works that you don't necessarily want other people to like get involved with or to taint or ruin for you um, this week. Uh, water signs. So let's see. I'm going to start off with a brand new Oracle deck. Okay. Um, and I was gifted this beautiful deck by a beautiful person. She is a water sign. Pisces, my beautiful friend, Ariana, uh, gifted this to me as an early birthday present. Okay. So, um, I will be celebrating my birthday this Thursday, August 25th. For those of you who may have Virgo placements or are dealing with a Virgo, etc. Um, and it's called the Wow Muse Oracle deck. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it, you guys. If you have not already, please like the video comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more i push your energy into these messages water signs and i can better pick up on what's going on with you so i'm not super familiar with the cards yet um just in terms of uh the creator and what they you know they deem the messages is behind each card so i always read intuitively but i definitely will be reading intuitively with this deck because i have not done the research on the booklet that came with it yet okay so uh we have on fire oh card number 44 44 could be significant uh it's a lot of passion here it's a lot of passion it's a lot of desire i feel like you guys are on fire this week like you're really good at something or you're very sexy very attractive okay to someone or someone is to you you could also be playing with fire in regards to something or someone because she is playing with fire okay um or something about fire with fire i almost called you guys fire signs so you could be dealing with the fire sign or something going on with the fire signs. Uh, yeah, go check out that reading. Actually check out all of the elements. Um, but the fire signs really had the energy of like not being bothered. Okay, like somebody trying to interfere with their, whatever they had going on too. So it seems like that's a collective vibe. But you have on fire. At the bottom, you have tell it like it is. Okay, um, card number nine. So, ooh, your tribe, your vibe, and then you have, oh, then you have prioritized reflection here. I feel like you're being very truthful, very honest with yourself, also very truthful and honest with someone else this week, water signs. Um, and maybe you're doing just that, like you're just telling it like it is, like something here is very straightforward. Um, and if there is, it's like if there is some sort of something or someone or some sort of opposing external force is trying to get in the way of whatever this is that you have going on or your connection, your friendship, whatever this is, uh, they may strike a nerve or that may want you, that may make you want to go after whoever, whatever this is even more so. 
okay? It's kind of like something or someone that is supposed to stop you or trying to stop you guys this week. Um, it's actually doing the exact opposite. Like it's making you want this more. It's making you more dedicated. It's making you more of a go-getter. Like if somebody said that you would never amount to this or you would never be able to pull this off, like it's making you want to do it even more because there's someone that's trying to, um, I'm hearing indirectly, like stop whatever it is you got going on. So I don't know what that's about, water signs, but let's go ahead and hop into the tarot. We have the page of cups. This is you at the bottom. Yeah, so this is you at the bottom. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then we have the Knight of Wands. It's like you're embodying a very fiery energy, passionate, driven energy with this Knight of Wands and a Wheel of Fortune to make some sort of change, okay? It's like now more than ever, you really it's like you're really inspired or it's like you're really being pulled or drawn or tempted or provoked to do something here, okay? Or to go after whatever this is. Three of Wands, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. All right. Hmm. All right, so let's pull this up. All right. Oh, see, some of y'all are dealing with the fire signs or you have fire in your chart. It's something about the fiery energy uh, for you guys this week. So let's see. I know it's like the end of, I don't know, it's the end of Leo season, technically like Virgo season now. Maybe something about, something uh, is going out with the bang here for you guys this week. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a not so good thing. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Messages for the water signs this week. Clarity, confirmation. All right, messages for the water signs this week. I'm getting electric though, like very electric. Somebody thinks you're very electric, like, I'm getting fire and desire by Drake, okay? Um, yeah, okay, maybe the letter E is significant. Clarity confirmation for my water signs this week, Holy Spirit. Let's just see what's to come for you, who or what is to come, all right? Clarity confirmation, heads up for you guys. Queen of Pentacles. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could definitely be you embodying this energy. Uh, two of Wands, or you may be indecisive or um kind of feeling i don't know it's like something that you're trying to figure out in regards to this person okay this earth sign or another or a fire sign it's like you're trying to figure out or somebody either you're trying to figure out how to approach a situation or a person or how to like initiate something or this is someone in regards to you the ace of wands why is this queen of pentacles here for my water signs King of Pentacles came out right next to the queen. Okay. A lot of y'all are definitely dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or you're viewing someone, okay, or an, or an opportunity, like a business opportunity to be the perfect um, match for you. I'm hearing mesh, like something meshes very well with you. Something about somebody's sense is very significant. The devil card, Capricorn is here heavy, okay? Pentacles is Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but it's a lot of Capricorn here. Uh, five of pentacles it's earth all over this and let's get another one six of cups you could definitely it's like either you are heavily thinking about somebody or somebody else is heavily thinking about you and maybe there's a distance here or there's someone that somebody might be trying to get away from in the scenario or someone who's wanting to get closer to another Okay. It's a little confusing and it may be because it feels like I don't see a third person, but it feels like there's someone else involved or trying to get involved or interfere with whatever this is. All right. It feels like I'm talking in circles, but whoever this resonates for definitely is going to get the message. Two of Wands. Why is Two of Wands here? Star card, Aquarius energy, Five of Swords, Chariot. Okay. Cancer. And the Knight of Swords. It's a lot of um, a lot of movement going on for you guys this week. Or it's a lot of like somebody really wants to move forward in a situation or fight for something. Hold on one second, water signs. All right, sorry about that. Um, speaking of fire signs, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. That was definitely a Sagittarius interrupting you guys' reading. Um, but I'm also getting the energy of like somebody needing to um, mind their business. I don't know what this is. Like something may come to the forefront or be revealed. And 
it's I don't know if that's making you run away from the situation or go harder for this person or this situation. Like I feel like something is is set in place to make you fear this or not want it or something like that. Some of you guys, it's working, like it's steering you away. Others of you guys, it's making you want this more than ever. So maybe there's some sort of temptation with this devil card. Okay. What's the what's the ace of wands? The knight of cups, the king of cups. All right, here you guys go. The six of wands. It's like you want a victory. All right. Or you want something to be very successful or you want your shot with something or someone. Nine of cups. Like there's wish fulfillment here. Nothing, whatever's going on, it's not going to stop you. What's this devil? Five of cups. Like, yeah, seven of pentacles and the ten of wands. Like somebody um, is not in agreement with what you have going on or somebody that you, you're with or they're trying to like discourage you from further investing okay like somebody's trying to get convince you that this is not the right idea or maybe you're back and forth in your head about if you should or if you shouldn't in regards to something or someone but whether this is your you against yourself or someone else against you or whatever it is that you have going on i see you guys going for it anyway or somebody coming going for you anyway it's like the more something is supposed to be um forbidden or the more something is supposed to like necessarily not be the case the more you want it or the more pushback you get in a situation uh the more it actually drives you to go after whatever this is to achieve the goal okay or to go over who go after whoever whatever this is here um there's a lot of passion fire desire and we have the queen of swords some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Um, and I don't know if you're turning this person down or if somebody has turned you down. What's this Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords, Sun card, Three of Cups. Or it's, it's like, it's very much so you said what you said or very much so you not letting up on something, okay? Or the need not to water signs. Eight of Wands, High Priestess, or to keep something secret. What's this Queen of Pentacles? I'm sorry, what's this Queen of Swords? What's this Queen of Swords? Like somebody is against something. Someone that you love, something that you desire. Queen of Wands, okay. Fire Energy. Two of Swords, Ace of Cups. Like, you have your heart set on something this week, Water Signs, or somebody, or that, or them in regards to you. What's this Queen of Swords? Clarity confirmation for the Water Signs. What's this Queen of Swords? The Empress. There could be um, something about a mother, mother to someone's children, father, father to someone's children. Um, the Tower, the Three of Swords. The seven of cups or you're putting an end to some sort of confusion it's like you're sure about something or you're really going towards something this week what's the tower card the lovers gemini magician virgo gemini eight of cups for some of you guys it feels like a breakup or a separation here. Like, again, it feels like it's working. Like, whoever's trying to get in the way of whatever you have going on is working. For others of you guys, it's just making you want to pursue this so much more. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. It, it's a Leo here or some sort of fire sign. Tell me about this Queen of Wands for my water signs. High Priestess. Or like... It's a mistress or there's a hidden person here. Or you could be the hidden person. What's this Queen of Wands? Knight of Wands. Page of Cups. Moon card. Nine of Swords. Somebody here is creating some sort of confusion or you're just very confused about um, 
or stressed about some one water signs. It's the energy I was feeling in the beginning. The emperor, it's like, I don't know how to feel. The emperor, the eight of swords, the six of swords, the temperance, the page of cups, the queen of cups, the king of swords. It's like, it's like somebody could be cock blocking here in terms of a connection or just blocking or trying to sabotage a friendship or opportunity or something like that for you. So it's a lot of mixed signals, mixed energy, or just mixed energies. There's a lot going on here. So let's see. Let's pull one final card for you guys. Um, from the Moonology deck, we have your hard work is paying off. This is new moon in Capricorn. Definitely something significant about a Capricorn. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. So don't allow whatever this is to destroy your hope or your optimism. Okay. Time to give rather than to take or sour situation for you. Final messages for my water signs this week, Holy Spirit. A fiery climax approaches. Hmm. Final messages. Because we have the emperor and the empress down here. Emperor and empress. And then we also have the king and queen of pentacles. But then we have the queen of wands and the king of cups. Something is somebody's desire here. Um, but there's something that somebody getting, getting in the way of that. We have step out of your comfort zone. At the bottom, we have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. Um, again, your hard work is paying off a lot of earth energy. Meditate and contemplate. So maybe there's something that you need to do differently, okay? Or you need to like assert yourself. Um, or you may feel like something is unrealistic or not practical, or it's like you're thinking about something too hard or too much, or somebody is, is doing that in regards to you. There's a need to kind of like think outside the box here, water signs. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it here. Y'all let me know in the comment section below how this resonates for you. What's going on? Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon.